Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to apply k nearest neighbor algorithm to classify the new instance into one of the classes given the training examples. This is the solved example number 5. The link for other examples is given in the description below. In this case, we want to apply k nearest neighbor classifier to predict the diabetic patient with the given features like BMI and age. BMI means uh, body mass index and age is the another feature. These are the training examples given to us. We have uh, 10 training instances and uh, the target variable in this case is sugar. Either the patient is having sugar or no sugar. If uh, 1 is present, the meaning is the patient is having sugar. 0 means the patient with no sugar in this case. Assuming the value of uh, k is equal to 3, that is uh, 3 nearest neighbors, uh, we want to classify the testing example or we want to classify the new example with uh, BMI is equal to 43.6 and uh, age is equal to 40 into either 1 or 0, that is the patient is having sugar or no sugar in this case. Now, first what we need to do is uh, we have to calculate the distance uh, between this new example or the testing example with respect to all the training examples in this case. Now, the question comes in front of us is uh, how to calculate the distance. To calculate the distance between uh, the new instance and the training instances, we use the Euclidean distance that is uh, distance is equal to square root of uh, x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square. We consider uh, 43.6 and 40 as x2 and y2 and they will be fixed because we want to calculate the distance between test example and the training instances. Hence, uh, x1 and x2 will change in every iteration. In the first iteration, x1 will be 33.6 and y1 is 50. In the second iteration, it will be 26.6 is x1 and y1 is 30 and so on. So, I have shown that particular distance calculation here. So, the distance in this case is, uh, in the first case you can say, square root of 43.6 that is uh, BMI or the new instance uh, BMI minus uh, 33.6 that is the training instance plus uh, 40 that is uh, age of uh, test example minus age of training instance is 50 here. So, if I solve this particle equation, I will get 14.14 here. Similarly, in the second case, square root of 43.6 that is fixed minus 26.6 plus 40 minus 30 that is 40 is fixed, 30 is the age in this case. The answer in this case is 19.72. Uh, Similarly, I have calculated the distance for all the training instances. That is the distance from test instance or a testing example to this training instances in this case. And these are the distances uh, what I have calculated in this case. Now, what I need to do is, I have to calculate or I have to find the three nearest neighbors because we have been given the value of k is equal to 3. So, we have to find the three nearest neighbors in this case. That is uh, 8.52, this is the distance, is the minimum distance you can say. That's the reason it is the first uh, uh, nearest neighbor you can say. Second one is 14.14 is the second smallest, hence it is uh, the second uh, nearest neighbor. 18.88 is the third nearest neighbor in this case. Now, once you find the nearest neighbors, the next question is, uh, we have to check what is the uh, target value for these nearest neighbors. So, for this first nearest neighbor, the target value is 1 here. For the second nearest neighbor, the target value is 1 again. For the third nearest neighbor, the target value is 0 here. So, out of three nearest neighbors, two are 1 and one is 0. So, what we can say with respect to this analysis is the new example or the testing example should be classified as 1 here. That is sugar is equal to 1 means the patient is having sugar in this case. I hope you understood how to do that particular final decision. This is a very important step we have to follow here. Uh, with respect to this nearest neighbors, we have to count how many number of uh, time 1 is appearing and how many number of time 0 is appearing. So, 1 and 2, that is the first and second nearest neighbors has 1 as the value and the third nearest neighbor has the value 0 here. So, out of 3, 2 are 1 and 1 is 0. So, 1 is having the majority, hence it will be classified as 1 in this case. So, this is a very simple process we need to follow so that we can classify the new instance into one of the classes given the training examples using k nearest neighbor algorithm. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. 
press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching